Hey guys, Kavita Shanae here, First Down and Dirty, your favorite online sports show. Now today you're joining us for our first ever Google Plus Hangout at First Down and Dirty. We're so happy to have you guys watching and sharing this exciting experience with us. We've got some special guests. Normally I give you my picks, but we're going to have our special guests do it this time. We've got Brian Spector, who's a fellow broadcaster. Hey Kavita, hey guys, I've been doing on-air broadcasting for the last 15 years. And we've got James Hill, former NFLer. James? I used to play with the Seattle Seahawks and um, was released with the Jacksonville Jaguars back in 02, but uh, as a tight end. Ah, gotcha. Jen Soko on the radio. Formerly on air, uh, morning show. Now I'm just a social media nerd that loves football. And very good social media nerd. Uh, we've got Sammy Shanae joining us, who's my sister. Sammy, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm just your average sports fan and the lucky little sister, Miss Kavita Shanae. Well, you are my football, uh, fantasy football insider, right? That's true. <laughs> last That's true. but not least, and I'm saying last because we have Keith Sims joining us, who's also a fellow broadcaster. He's actually in New Orleans. So this is really exciting to have him joining us. Keith, do you have any scoop for us? Well, I would say I have big scoops, but I want to hold it for my picks. I enjoyed my media day this week and getting around and being in the city with the Super Bowl. So a lot going on down here in New Orleans. All right, all right. Well, let's get right to the picks. Let's start off with B-Spec, Brian Spector, San Fran's favorite by three and a half. Who you got, Brian? I've got Baltimore winning this game, guys, uh, plus three and a half. Baltimore looks to be a team of destiny right now. Fourth and 27 this year against San Diego, gained 29 yards, win that game in overtime. Hail Mary pass against Denver in the playoffs against Peyton Manning. They'd won 11 in a row. They win that game. Then they go and beat Tom Brady in New England. I think San Francisco is the better team, but Joe Flacco, contract year, he's going to get paid next season if he wins a Super Bowl now. I like the elder Harbaugh. I also like Ray Lewis's final game going out with that Super Bowl title. The Ravens are more of a veteran team also over San Fran. I think experience will take precedence in this particular matchup. I got Baltimore winning a close one, 24-21. Nice. <laughs> All right, Soko, who you got? I go with San Fran, minus three and a half, because uh, Baltimore's defense is just more experienced. San Francisco's pass and rush defense is in the top five of the league. Um, the Ravens have yet to beat an athletic quarterback like C.K. himself. That's right. Colin Kaepernick, very talented guy. Now, James, you know what it's like being on the field. Tell us, James, who you got on Sunday. Uh, I got San Francisco. Um, you know, with Frank Gore and Michael James in the backfield and a loaded wide receiving court, um, there just doesn't seem to be a defense, you know, for this 49er squad. Um, and while the offense has taken most of the spotlight, you know, let's not forget about that defense. Uh, it's been one of the best in the NFL during the regular season, allowing just, you know, 17 points per game. So sure. I think the San Francisco is going to, you know, they're just explosive all around. Uh, I think they're going to take it. Um, I don't know what the score will be, but let's just say 28-21. Uh, love that. Love that. You might be right. Moving on to our football Fantasy football insider Sammy Shanae, uh, what's your insight on Sunday? I'm going to Baltimore. They beat the Colts, they beat Peyton Manning, they beat Tom Brady. That game wasn't even close. Um, I think that they're riding this hot streak all the way to the Super Bowl win, and um, it's going to be for Ray Lewis. They go in the last two games, I believe it was eight, nine and a half point underdogs, respectively. I'm going to go with the more experienced team overall, and I say that Joe Flacco gets the monkey off his back. Uh, you have a jersey with you, don't you? You want to show us that jersey? I I don't have a jersey. I have a picture. I wish I had a jersey. I'm going to wear one, but I'm going to say 52. <laughs> Last but not least, uh, let's go with Keith Sims. He's in New Orleans, so Keith, you I don't know if you've changed your your pick since you got there. You know, you've got San Fran favored by three and a half. Who you got, Keith? Well, it's a tough call. When you look at both teams coming to the Super Bowl undefeated, San Francisco is a perfect 5-0 and in Super Bowl games, and the Baltimore Ravens obviously are 1-0. and So that streak is going to end for one of those teams. I went in a media day on Tuesday really thinking the San Francisco 49ers were going to win this football game. They are probably the more talented football game. But as I talked to the Baltimore Ravens and their offense and defensive line, Reagan Upshaw, Terrence Cody, they really gave me some pretty good insight as to why the San Francisco 49ers are still going to win this game. They're going to win this game. They're the better team. Wow. Colin Kaepernick is the X factor in this game, and I think the 49ers will come out ahead. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I cannot believe that Keith Sims is picking the 49ers. Well, it was a tough call. 
It was a tough call, but I had to go with the 49ers. It should be a very good game. Very mirror images in the Southeast, both teams. But I think at the end, the difference will be Colin Kaepernick. And I think that Joe Flacco, like, think about it. He's beaten Luck, Manning, and Brady. His luck, he has, his luck has to end at some point. I think it's over now. Right. And the only other, you know, dual threat quarterback that they played was who? RG3 and the Ravens right. lost. Jim Harbaugh's 49 this year. He turned 49 in December and he's coaching the 49ers. Uh, so, you know, that's another reason why they may win. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, uh, James, for all the ladies that are watching the Super Bowl on Sunday, that maybe haven't been following up with football but are forced to watch the game. Do you have any advice for those ladies? Um, yeah, just keep the food coming. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Jen, what, what's the tally so far? We're looking at 3-2 San Fran, so according to us, 49ers are taking it home. That's okay. right. Oh, uh, I, I can't say who I pick because Brendan Ibadejo is one of our co-hosts. And he's with the Ravens, so we definitely want him to come home with a ring. Thank you guys so much for joining us on this Google Chat. It's so much fun. We hung out at the Hangout. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at First Down and Dirty. And if you want to be in the next Google Plus Hangout, email us at media at want to thank our special guests for joining us, and hopefully you guys will be back. Cool? Cool. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Wait, oh, there we go. <laughs> Wait, what are we, are we doing the Kavita thing? What Kavita thing? Oh, this? Seriously, you should pet I'm just jealous I don't have long hair and a flip, that's all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sammy's already said the F word. You've already said bitch. This is a very unprofessional set. Everybody. Hey, hey, hey. I'm just kidding. I'm Hello? kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Hello? Yes. <laughs> Hey, can I call you back? I'm doing a quick chat. <laughs> uh, let me call you back.